Hi, this is Vanessa Joy here with Breathe Your Passion on Adorama TV, and today we are going to talk about how to work well with one of these guys, a wedding videographer. So, we are actually here in Lake Tahoe. We're shooting a wedding tomorrow. I'm the photographer, and this is Robbie. Hey. Hey. Robbie here is a videographer. He's actually from the Seattle area. I'm from New Jersey, as you may know. And we've met here in Lake Tahoe to shoot a gorgeous, gorgeous wedding that we're really excited about. But as the age-old problem goes, videographers fight with photographers, and we're not going to talk too much about the photographer gripes, because, hey, we probably know all those already. So. Let's make this positive. Tell us some of the biggest things that photographers could do to make your life easier as a videographer. The big thing is, is no matter if you, if you don't know the videographer or if you've never met the photographer, if you are a video person out there watching this, you gotta play, play like a team. You know, We're all there to make gorgeous videos mm -hmm. and gorgeous photos. And that's really what it comes down to. Um, you know, help each other get the shot that they need, hop out, let the video guy do the thing, and vice versa. Let the photographers yeah. get, you know, the how, shots they need. How often do you see impatience come into play? Because timing is an issue. Timing is just something that is not our friend, usually. No, so never. it's really easy for us to get impatient one way or the other when we've got 20 minutes to both do everything we need to do. How do you think we can learn to work better simultaneously rather than fighting for time? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I believe. There's certain things that you could do leading up to the wedding that definitely help. Okay. Because, you know, photographer, they have their timeline. Videographer, they need certain things. So mm -hmm. co communication before the wedding is huge. So if we're working with a photographer we haven't met, we call them up on the phone, say, hey, we'd like to talk about the timeline. And then from there, you can talk about the shots they need, what yes. their style is. If they shoot super tight, you know, and they're shooting with a 24, back up with a 200 millimeter lens so you can shoot at the same time as them without having one in the photo or vice versa. I like that. One of the things uh, my husband, who's also a videographer, mentions is if he didn't get a chance to talk to the photographer, a lot of times we'll just walk up to them and say, hey, what are you shooting with? Oh, you're shooting with a 135 here? Great, I'll shoot with a 135 here too. So talk to me the morning of, because that's when we first, you know, meet each other potentially. What What is that like from your point of view in the bridal suite, say? Yeah, definitely. So what we kind of talked about was uh, mainly how people shoot. Bridal suite is always a tiny room, very small. It's hard to work in. It's cramped. Everyone is in their own corner. Um, my suggestion for that is if you can't shoot at the same time, let the photographer get what they need. Mm -hmm. And then you can even reenact the dress being zipped up or buttoned up. Um, but that's all you really can do in that small of an environment. So. Right. How about the reception? The reception tends to be that kind of free for all where, you know, you're always getting in each other's shots and people get mad. What are some yeah. ways? Maybe talk to me about the 180 access. Yeah, so uh, first dance is huge, you know. Yes. Um, so with me, with the video, even my wife gets mad at me when she's shooting photos. <laughs> I like to take this Ronin. Robbie also works with his spouse, so. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, but, uh, during the first dance, everyone needs to get their shots, and that's some of the most important photos and video mm -hmm. clips. So what I generally do is I will do one 360, hop out of the way, and I'm, I'm, then I grab my monopod, and I'm in the background. So after you do that 360, one of the things I know my husband does is he likes to hide in the crowds, and I think that helps photographers and videographers not be in each other's shot. But then we also have to be aware that we might be standing in someone else's shot that's in the crowd because they're not right there. Do you get that a lot where a photographer all of a sudden you just see their back in their shot? Yeah, definitely. All the time. Back or light stands or anything like that. Um, sometimes I'll hide, but if I know the photographer's shooting in the crowd, if mom and dad are there watching, I won't do that. I'll hide behind a pole. I'll mm -hmm. hide behind the photographer's light stand or the DJ because I know they're not going to shoot into those. Objects. Oh, that's good. I like that. Perfect. If you could ask for one thing from photographers, things that we could do during the day to just make your life easier, what would it be? Communication. Um, so Perfect. definitely, yeah, a huge thing is let me know when you're going to do things. Because okay. if, you're t if your timeline is different than ours, we just want to know when the first look's happening, um, yep. where and when that you're going to do the bridal photos, because most of the time we're just following you around to try not to get in your way. Perfect. So. I love it. Communication. So let's all play nice. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button there on the bottom here at Adorama TV, and I will see you next time. See ya. Thank you.